here with Tim Doyle, CBS Sports basketball analyst. You had uh, Virginia Tech to win this game. You took the points. Maybe you didn't expect the upset. Are you kidding me? Virginia Tech, four games in four days as they win and beat Duke. They took down North Carolina. They won at the buzzer against Clemson. I mean, this was like one of these teams of destiny in this ACC tournament. You know, it was really interesting to watch the matchups along this ACC tournament journey because a team like Clemson and Brad Barnell really cut from a similar cloth as Mike Young. Disciplined team, half-court defense, do all the little things, and that's a game that goes right down to the wire. And then North Carolina and Duke, it was simple. Virginia Tech just shut them down. North Carolina is a team that came in averaging 77 points a game, third in the ACC. What did they score? 59. Duke comes in number one in the ACC, averaging 80 points a game. Today, 67 really got made three late. It was really 64. So, this really came down to defense and effort, and that is what I've realized. I have been able to pinpoint the problem with Duke. It has nothing to do with talent. I didn't see one guy slap a floor in Brooklyn. They don't have an edge. There's no, like, chip on their shoulder. That's what separates good teams and great teams. And even teams that have won in the past for Duke, they had a little bit of friction. Whether it was Grayson Allen, who you really didn't like, or the John Shire teams. Like, there was an edge to see Christian Leitner stepping on guys' stomachs. Like, I don't see that edge from Duke. I see the talent. I'm like, wow, you guys are really, Apollo's unbelievable. He's going to be a great NBA player. But, like, I just don't see that toughness. Virginia Tech, as Matt Norlander said, if you were choosing teams, Duke or Virginia Tech, the first six picks would all be on Duke. But toughness-wise, the Hokies. Ho, ho, hokey high. Is that how they say it, Akeem? They're partying at Blacksburg. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fun town to, uh, to be in and, and have a good time. And they're all partying now because they had no business – going to the NCAA tournament. They were not in the field if they don't win this tournament. And now Hunter Couture lifts them into the big dance. And it's back-to-back -back tournament appearances for Mike Young, who we talked about at length here with Matt, how good of a coach he is. You've talked with him. What makes the difference, Mike Young, in terms of what he's able to get from his players? Culture. And I'm not saying that his culture is better than a Duke's culture, but what an easy sales pitch this was pregame speech. You know, I never wanted to be a coach because recruiting is awful. Okay. But the speeches, oh, the speeches are what I live for because that would be such an easy speech. This is us against the world. This is Duke. This is Coach K. And not once, but twice now on the Coach K farewell tour at home against North Carolina. Not so great. Lose that game. And then tonight, they were simply outplayed. I don't know how you can go into the field of 68 and go, you know, I like Duke. They show me a lot of toughness. It's like, yeah, they're really talented, but when their backs have been up against the wall, when the most pressure has been on them, when they've been under the biggest spotlight, man, Akeem, they have folded in a pretty massive way. So, uh, you know, sometimes you learn the most from losses, but I thought Virginia Tech coming into this game should have the confidence to beat Duke, and here's why. They were beating them down at Cameron Indoor at halftime. They were up eight in the second half. And we all know Duke doesn't lose at home because, you know, sometimes you're playing eight on five. But you leave the arena that night and you're like, man, we can compete with that team. They had that belief in Brooklyn. And that was the difference. So I, I, wanna, I want you to give me a pep speech. I want you to give me a, a speech because I, I want you to give me the speech in that you're talking to the Duke players because here's why. The weight of the world is on them. A, a, any game they lose, it's you lost a, a game for Coach K. The, the next one might be the last. Like the weight of that pressure. Think of you playing when you're back at St. John's when you're at Northwestern. The weight of those games, and then you're knowing that your coach is going to retire, whether they cut down the nets or not, which is unlikely according to you. But if they lose the game, the end of the tournament, it's over. And then they've got to answer all the what did Coach K mean to you? It doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, give. How, what are you going to say to those kids? Yeah, I mean, th this is why I'm not a coach because. I'm a big horse racing guy, and the first thing you do when you get to the racetrack is you look at past performances. You know, what has the horse done in the last race? How does he run? What did the track look like? What was the variant? What was the situation there? Well, if we start looking up at biggest games Duke has played this year, they have not risen to that occasion. So uh, I would hate to see Duke get matched up with a veteran team like Lehigh and C.J. McCollum. You know, that was a 2-15 matchup. This team has kind of that sense to it. Uh, I also have concerns about Virginia Tech because they win the championship and guys were on the court spent, laid out, crying, emotional. 
We talked about this before at Indiana. I have concerns with Indiana going to the tournament because they were on their home floor. They were feeding off that energy there, playing in Indianapolis. I think Virginia Tech might have left their best basketball in Brooklyn. And I think that going into the tournament, there's going to be crazy expectations because they won the ACC conference tournament. Take conference championships with a grain of salt. Because some teams are motivated. North Carolina wasn't motivated. Baylor wasn't motivated. You can go through to Providence. They laid a mass of eggs. It's so hard to figure out who's motivated. I will be really curious to see who both of these teams get matched up with because I can see both of these teams being ousted very early. Really? Correct. Like a one and done. Depending on the matchup. Yeah, you've got to see a bracket. I, I, I get that. I, 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 do, I do not expect either one of these teams – to get out of the first weekend. All right, let's take a look here at Jerry Palm's latest. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.